Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Eador Genesis New Horizons modded. Alright, we're continuing our efforts to fight the AI. Again, we're going to keep on going until the AI decides to attack. We'll see how strong they are, and assuming that they are simply way super leveled, we will, we will annihilate them with the power of Cheat Engine. But until then, we're going to have a lot of fun doing the shard as we properly should. So let's continue doing that some more, shall we? In the last episode, we did some battles against the, well, some barbarians. Vraukor has gained two more unit slots, and I want them filled, so we're bringing him back home to stick some units in those positions. In fact, we should probably at least do that. We are trying to get some more experience on Galvin, who's off here, I think, to fight another Cyclops. And Arzang is just running around letting our provinces grow so we can make more income. Alright, and I think we bought everything I cared to purchase. Let's end our turn and keep on going. Remember, everyone, that this could change in a second. Vianetta is most likely going to be... Or Vianetta will most likely be the one who declares war on us first. Or will probably just warn us and ask for more funds for his war machine. But we may have, we could have many more videos in which we don't have to worry about it. While exploring the province, the hero Arzang has found an Inquisition troop. The Inquisitors are going to burn some people at the stake. Approach them. One of the Inquisitors, clearly the most important, turns to the hero. What do you need, my child? I want to help you eradicate heresy. You want to help? Then gather some more brushwood, so the heretics will burn faster. As you say, Holy Father. When enough firewood is collected, as the punishment began. The heretics screamed in pain and begged for a quick death, but to no avail. They died a slow and painful death in the flames. After the execution, the Inquisitor shared his knowledge with the hero about how to find heretics among the common people. Interesting. A dragon? Another dragon? <laughs> oh, well, well, we won't make it angry. You're kidding me! How many dragons have been settling in our lands now? One. I think we have three dragon layers in our lands. Oh my god. Alright, Gavel's gonna fight the great Cyclops. Arzang, yep, you're rushing back home. And us uh, not Arzang. Galvin's gonna fight the, Cy the Cyclops. Ralcor is heading back home. And Arzang has now explored more the province. He's gonna stay here though and keep exploring. Let's keep let's keep clearing this. It's only 20%. I'm gonna want this at, at like 40 or so. So he, he can keep doing his thing. For buildings. We will build a what's what is this place? A hamlet. Let's build a granary here then. And at home... Hmm... I'm only gonna get two more of these buildings, Tim, so you better be sure. I don't need... Well... A longbow would be nice. That would also give you access to the guard's crossbow or the composite bow. Mithril arrows would also be nice. So we may end up going Master Carpenter. Over here, we don't have the next level building for the Journeyman Carpenter. The Tanner does give us access to the Master Tanner store, and the Warrior's Belt is very nice. So is the Archer's Gloves. Okay, so we'll probably build the Journeyman Tanner and the Journeyman Carpenter. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're not going to build them quite yet, though. I guess we should... Well, let's hold on to our cash. We don't need these buildings quite yet. Yeah, I really like that we don't have to worry about the AI quite yet. It, What you're seeing, by the way, everyone, what I'm doing right now, just running around doing locations, claiming other provinces, if we do decide to play a multiplayer game on a, on a very big or colossal-sized shard, 
where I play three different types of of kingdoms. This would be the entirety of it, and probably for like a hundred videos, it would take that long to see the end. While exploring the province of Misty Lowland, Arzang found an enchanted pool. He can't win. Um, there's too many enemies here. Basilisk, Swamp Dragonfly, and a giant slug, but good to know it's here. Alright, Galvin, you did this battle before. You should be able to easily handle it this time as well. It's the same battle that you had just done. We don't have a hill on our side this time. But I think we'll stay where we are. So let's start with the haste down here. Because I want this elf being able to join the fun. As quick as possible. Move you up and shoot. It's very important that we fire all guns and kill this guy as quick as we can. We'll now use a haste on this elf. To pull him back and you will get pulled back. This way you're not threatened by him. Keep burning him. Keep plinking him. One. And these guys are so slow, it's not going to matter very much. They won't be able to reach me. Forty-two. That was an easy fight. One forty-two bucks is nice for that. Plus one command. That's very nice. I was looking forward to that. Let's grab looting one. So he already has. I uh, remember everyone. I've modded the game a bit. Looting. I, I haven't found out where this is located, but in in the game I'm playing, looting is twenty percent, twenty percent, thirty, thirty, forty. So we are gaining already an extra one hundred percent loot from these locations, because we get looting th three extra levels. We'll grab looting one. You will take a hit point. Ah, this is useless on you, sir. I guess we'll give you... Ah, I hate seeing an upgrade like this. Let's give you first aid. Silver arrows, hallucination, nice. 255 bucks and 22 gems is nice for that as well. I'll think about it. Okay. With plus one command, Galvin, you will head back home. You have a tier three slot. We don't have tier three unit, but you're whatever. You're head back home anyway. Arzang, you'll keep exploring there. We will build a pub over here. And does do all my locations have guards? No, not all of them do. Let's put some guards here. We'll put down some light infantry. 67 bucks and 12 gems per turn. You're heading back home, Ralcor. You're heading back home, Galvin. For buildings, because we are definitely... Because we're about to walk back home. Why don't we build... The Draymond Carpenter for that longbow. The journeyman shops also provide a little more income. I think it's plus three per one of them that we construct. So every single little bit helps. God, I, I really am so upset with that AI hyper-level glitch because I love this game so much. If it wasn't for that one single bug, this game would almost... I, I think this game would almost be perfect. There'd still be some balance issues, but eh, eh, th those can easily be fixed to your heart's content if you just edit the files yourself. A monolith, we'll examine it. Pack, warrior, tormentor, and a tyrant. Too difficult for you, Arzang, we retreat. Your spies report that some commoner in the province of Tempest Valley has found some magic jewelry and is now keeping it in his home. According to the law, everything found on your land is your property. Let's pay him for it. Wow! As you have ordered, the find is delivered to your treasury. Plus four hit points, plus two stamina. A that's amazing, not bad. So Arzang just will immediately put that on because that's what he does, I think. Oh no, deliver to the treasury. Well, I think we'll give this to you, Ralcor. That two stamina in particular will be really useful. We don't need a warp. 
Uh, we can give you armor of... No, we can't give you armor of faith. So we'll leave this behind. Is there anything else you want to purchase for him? Maybe this should go to your archer? No, nah, we'll keep it on you. Oh, we should buy the light boots. They're everything the, le the leather overshoes does. But also gives us plus one stamina. Actually, you know, with that in mind, we will give this to our to our, our other hero. We also will purchase a warm cloak. And Galvin, repair your equipment. So you will gain this. You will gain the blacksmith's bracelet. This will be left behind for our, whatchamacallit, our mage. I think we'll... Mm, hold on this stuff. Plus five hit points, first aid plus two, or plus four hit points, we will take the Basilix gloves. Right! We can give you a... We can give you a spider. Let's do that. Let's give you a spider. The web will prove useful if something ever reaches you. 26 bucks and two gems. He's about just as expensive as these guys. How about that? For your other items, we don't need the simple chain mail. We won't need the hat. We should probably purchase some light boots. We'll purchase you a warm cloak. And we'll give you plus one more hit point with a bracer. And then we'll send you right back out here to do more battles, I think. Now, you didn't gain two slots. I was hoping for two slots, if I'm being honest. I don't know what else you can kill. The spiders might let you handle a Medusa, Tim. Go and fight the Medusa. Where are they? All right, Galvin, off you go. Ralcor. You... We'll get another horseman. And for your final unit, it should be another ranged unit. So let's give you another Pathfinder. And we'll make this guy... How much money am I making? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nothing! Alright, then you're gonna have to be a hunter instead. Eight bucks. Oh! Oh! Alright. Let's have you... I think we might take on the barbarians up there again, Ralcor. So let's have you come up here. Oh! Or those demons. Where are those demons? Here. Let's go... Let's go fight the demons with you. It's on the way. Arzang, we'll keep exploring there at least one more turn. Okay, let's um, end the turn. We can't afford anything now. We spent all the money. Mmm. Forgot to buy a bow on Galvin. We'll double back anyway. Uh, we're right near our province. That sucks. I forgot to buy a better bow. Plus one range is nothing to sneeze at. Plus one range is nothing to sneeze at. Plus one range is nothing to sneeze at. Alright, stop. AI is really considering if it wants to declare war on me, I think. And or what battles it wants to do. It might be trying to fight off the behemoth right now and take that province that I want. We'll see. I guess Vianetta and Winter haven't met each other yet, which is why they're not at war. 5% explored. Keep exploring. Plus one magic. And I guess we'll start working on that summoning. The time has come to commence our battle lottery. I declare war on you. And may the wisest one win. Alright everyone, looks like we're going to have to cheat, would be my guess. So, we have one round, I suppose, before we have to worry about him showing up. So we'll fight the demons with Ralcor. Galvin will fight the Medusa. And Arzang 
That's just a dwelling. We'll come down here and explore. All right. Well, this is a shame. I guess we'll get a chance to see what level he is. He might not be level 30. He might be around level 20 like we are. I guess we'll find out soon. There is nothing else I think I can do. We'll just end our turn. We need these battles. So I guess that payment got gave us another 20 turns or so before Ornor finally has decided that, you know what, he can beat me. If he inedit clears word on us also, oh, that's going to be tough. Oh, only two Medusa. Okay, let's, let's, we can definitely win this fight. This won't be tough at all. I don't think it will be. Oh, they're both on hills. One, two, three, four, five. She's a range of four normally. One. Okay, so a bit odd here, but we're going to use a haste and pull him back one. Oh, that was a mistake. I should have used haste on someone else. My thinking being that I want her moving up. We'll focus all our firepower on this girl instead. Good. And that was easy, right? We just killed one, so we know we can kill this one. <laughs> nightmare, another nightmare spell. What, 319 and 20 gems. Imp, spawn, fiend, hellhound, demon, succubus. Let's do it, Raukor. There's the demon. One, two, three, four. So we want you here and we don't want anyone else to be there because I would I don't want to lose someone to the I would like the demon to attack our hero which it should do it should just charge him immediately I could leave you here, but you're gonna get shredded. Let's do th let's do this, and let's see. You're the new one. You're the powerful guy. Let's do this, and let's start. All right, that's what I expected. Now, what do you want to do? I think you can move up and you can maybe kill this. Get you out of the... Uh, hold on a second. Let's think. 26 hit points. So you won't quite kill it with a single hit. We can move you up one though. And you'll heavily damage it. And then he can charge up and get the killing blow. So why don't we do that? Let's heal our hero first. Remember, demons are immune to fire. That was dumb. Should have attacked her. Her range is four. She moves one, one, two, three. Oh, she won't have a target. Let's move you down here instead. Okay, our hero can get in the way. Can move you up here. We'll use you if we must.
Wow. Decimated this army. Good treasure. Just for, just like, that's loot. That's, I like seeing 376 for that fight. Plus one stamina. Raise ghost. Dark armor. Plus six defense, plus six range defense. Dark dominion, plus one. Speed, minus one. We still should give that to Ralcor. And actually, he's going to march right in against Oinor, I suppose. If I do that, am I slowed? I am not. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Galvin, you double back for that bow, I forgot. And Arzang, you can just explore. For buildings, we will build a tavern there. I should probably hold on to some of our cash. Let's... Let's... Yeah, we should hold on to some of the cash, Tim. That doesn't mean you can't you can't build anything, though. But you should... Not spend all of it on something. What does this take to make? We would need the Stonehenge. That is a little too expensive for me at the moment. Oh, this is a Tier 3 unit also, so we need to build our other Tier 2 schools. Oh, there's not much I need to do right now. We don't have any corruption yet, either. We should still build something. Let's build the infirmary. We could stop in for maybe some better weapons for Ralkor, but I think he'll be alright with what he's got. We don't have the money for something better anyway. How much money are we making per turn? Oh, it's down to nine. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully we can annihilate Oinor's army. We're about to see how strong his economy is. He will usually um, replace the guard with a stronger guard the moment I show up. A shame. It was so much fun just relaxing, not having to worry about fighting an enemy AI. Plus, once we defeat Oinor, that, that throws us into battle against Viennata immediately. We have like one, oh, not immediately, but we have one turn before she and I are at war. 14 enemies, uh, gang leader, veteran spearman, sentinel, faith devotee, spearman, and a monk. I'll destroy him. Let's let our light infantry start. Because this will give me a chance to see how strong he is. Because if he is level 30, we're probably going to have to um, revert everyone. Again, this should come as a surprise to absolutely no one. So I already can see that these guys are like super high level. These used to be pikemen. Of course, it's fucking level 30. Okay, so Oinor has cheated. We we knew this was going to happen as well. We'll be lucky to kill anything, I think, on their side. We'll still try our best, but we're probably going to have to revert time. And then I will do some cheat engine stuff, and then we'll be back.
Ah, I can't reach him. That's a shame. Yeah, got one. Take it. Killed one of your level one monks. How do you like that, you jerk? You guys still can't do anything. We'll drain his stamina. We'll see how much you like that. I really want to... We, we should really acknowledge, or acknowledge is the wrong term, I want, well, this is the wrong term. T take note of just how easily Oinor is able to defeat this guard. Because I betcha he had this level 30 easily 20 turns ago, probably. Close to when Vianetta had her level 30, Oinor had his as well. And this has let him steamroll as well over anything that might have been difficult, which throws the balance completely out the window for the rest of the game. It's just, it's just terrible. He killed one of his, of his units, and he's gained some levels on everyone. Wow, that's amazing. Good for him. He's not fighting my main hero. The guard there is leaving. We'll let them leave. Um, this would be really bad if we attack his main hero, but we'll, let's do it. We'll, I plan on just cheating, so this, this isn't going to matter in the end. We'll just give myself a few dragons or hydras or something like that. Oh, we're poisoned. So we're, we're going to lose all of my uh, all my elves and stuff like that are dead. Oh, I should have paid more attention to where I put my some of my units. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna lose most of my units here. In fact, we we should just this is this is just horribly lost, everyone. There there is no way we're this army of mine is gonna win. Oh my god. He has six defense. Good for him. Resurrect! Wow! Good good for good for that guy. Oh wow, and, and healing, and they have meditate everyone, so this is probably lost. Oh, 
Oh, right, we do have Stunning Blow, though, which will keep him drained of stamina. one that can really damage me. Thank goodness for the armor we literally just picked up. Oh, we have five turns left. Wow, and the AI costs himself the, the- Oh! I just don't have enough stamina. Oh, or we do! And we still won. We beat his- f His- Yeah, I'll say it. His fucking level 30 cheating Ilthin hero. His level 32 s spearmen. And a huge amount of his pikemen, which he never had to worry about because the AI cheated like a motherfucker. <laughs> our hero just barely won. Plus one command, we'll give him a uh, armor master, continue exploring. I'll think about it. We'll go ahead and put some light infantry here. Rockor can head back home. Of course, we did lose everything we had. Lost every single unit. Sell the hunting bow. Pick up the longbow. And Galvin, what else can we have your army kill? Is there anything we can have you kill? These are all slightly too difficult for him. Maybe the swamp creatures? That's gonna be tricky. We can give it a try, though, with you, Galvin. Arzan, you keep exploring. And, everyone, I still think we should cheat. It's obvious that the AI is cheating. Well, I, oh, oh, wait, hold on. So, I said we wouldn't cheat if I don't have to. And I guess we don't have to yet. We'll do at we'll keep playing and not cheat. We were strong enough to beat probably his strongest hero. Probably his strongest hero. Oh. We should also equip different armor, because that will speed up your movement. No, it will not. Okay. Um, we should build a building, so we'll build a tavern there. Wow, it's all because the AI rushed that one monk over as well. If he had run it in the opposite direction, it would have been a draw, and he would have been able to resurrect that hero faster and keep it in that army. Alas for him, that was not the case. He would have also, we would have also both fled back to our respective provinces instead of me claiming that province on Oinor. Continue exploring. We don't um, kill the traitors to take their gold. And here comes another hero of theirs. We'll get to see what level he is. 
How much money are we making now? Ooh, 286, cause, all because we lost that one army of ours. We'll fight the swamp creatures, Arzang. You will do your thing. Ralcor, you're heading back home to pick up new units. We're going to put a outpost here, everyone. And we're going to staff it. To delay this mage, his victory here. I can't afford to build anything because I'll be purchasing lots of units next turn. Of course, if the mage is level 30 as well, everyone, we are just going to cheat. Just like that. I, th I think it'll be time to do so. Freaking unbelievable bug. There are other ways you can win by building very specific buildings and using very specific rituals. But I, I, hate, I hate that idea that the only way that... It is not a so I don't view it as a so it's an arc mage. So he can cast two spells per turn. Let's see what level he is. I bet you he's like I bet you he's level 30 as well though. I guess this is good because it'll give me a chance to see what spell he has. I already see that he has super high level units. This is probably a level 30 guy right there as well, would be my guess. Oh, the terrain's terrible for us to fight in as well. Oh, just... Just the lightning. So he doesn't have very powerful magic. Level fucking 30. Jesus Christ, guys. Come on. Sorry, everyone. I just... This, is, this pisses me off to no end. Just how... Broken this is. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do but die horribly? So th th this is over, right? So can we quick combat this? I, we're not going to win. Not at all. So, we didn't kill anything. And of course it leveled some more other units. Actually, we did kill one thing. We killed a monk. Enchanted pool. Oh, wait. This is completely different than the... Th oh, no. I'm sorry, Arzang. This is, this is a different pool. You're not, you're not Galvin. Let's, uh, let's retreat from that. You don't think you can win, Galvin, but I think you can. Let's fight. Oh, maybe we can't. This is quite a few enemies. These guys move four. So I better be able to kill both of them right now. I don't think we can do that. It burns up and dies when it activates. We might as well start plinking the other units. We have to kill this as well. I don't want anything reaching our line if I can help it. So, we'll put you first off, one to the forest. Eleven, I think you two. Alright, it's dead when it activates. Things regenerating can again can regenerate not quicker than the damage that will be inflicted on it. I think one more hit will let us let the fire burn it to death. Oh, or, or we'll just kill it. That works too. We do have a slug now to worry about. He's within range, but we need to still focus on on these guys.
He won't die, he'll regenerate that hit. So we have to do that. I don't want you getting spat at. Because you're not immune to poison. So we need to pull you back one. This guy moves two? A oh, fast guy. Alright, so now we have to worry about the slugs. Let's begin shifting. So I'm gonna have to let you get hit once, Mr. Spider, with a web. I'm sorry, uh, with a spit, so this way I can actually deal with this basilisk. We should hit the basilisk first, though. Because web will increase its range defense. Oh, maybe we can just flat out kill it. It will die when it activates. We can move you down one. We have no ammo left, so we're not casting any more hastes. You are dead if I leave you there. We have a web? We have no web spells. So we can move you down one. We can move you down two. I think we will shoot the basilisk and kill it next. We're almost out of ammo. We just might not have what it takes to kill it. It's still going to regenerate. I don't want to lose my spider to all the spit that will come its way. If I move it up and attack it, although maybe we should maybe we should just sacrifice a spider. I kind of don't really, I don't really want to do that. If I move up one and spit on this guy, He'll move up and attack the spider and hurt it. He'll spit the spider, but he'll live through that. Oh! Sorry, I suddenly couldn't do anything. When, oh! Uh. And, and your turn. Oh, he doesn't have the ability to spit webs. Does he? How do I do that? Oh, he can't move and do it? Maybe he could. Okay, well, we could... If I move you up... If I move you up, Mr. Spider... Well, we're not gonna. If I move him up one space... And I web this... You die from all the spits. Maybe, though, that's what we want. In the end. You know what? It is. Forget it. Sorry, Spider. You're gonna die for us. To keep everyone else alive. Ooh, Tim, you have to scatter your shots. You're going to lose this elf unless you move this guy out of that spot and move up your healer. And you're probably still going to lose this elf to this guy. In fact, you are. There's nothing you can do about it. Yep. And this, this spider's also dead. We may as well web a guy, just to keep him from doing more damage to us. He will die in two rounds. So I'm willing to let him just spit again. He's dead next round when he activates, so I don't have to worry about him again. He's free. Next round. My elves are now out of arrows. My leader has five arrows left. It should be enough. But I need to be careful. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, necrophage. Forgot they had that. Hey, go ahead, keep, you keep doing that. Lost our spider. Picked up a basilisk egg, though, to replace it with. That's kind of nice. I kind of I like that trade. Decent loot for the fight. Plus one health. And I, I guess we'll take defensive tactics. Everyone gains plus one range defense. You gain a hit point. I can't afford that. You will gain a resistance. Iron Shod Boots, Dark Resurrection. A friendly unit needs to be sacrificed. Resurrect a friendly unit with half its health. 299 gems for that battle. That's very nice. Okay, everyone. Uh, we might be able to win this with a whole fresh new army with Raukor. From Raukor. He's still hurt, though. But I think he's going to have to give it a go. So what army am I bringing with me for this? It's going to have to be cheap, Tim. If, unless you want to cheat. And I guess we should. Yeah, I think we should, everyone. Okay, so here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop here. We've reached a point in the shard where now it's obvious that both... Uh, to me, it was obvious many turns ago that both the AI have cheated. They probably all have level 30 heroes, all maxed out with, with Kug, fantastic units and stuff like that because of the bug. We're going to cheat in return. What would you like to see in our army? What would you like to see? Because we'll go ahead and get it added. Um, I will level... Raukor, so that he will be, oh, and by the way, he's a great chieftain now, so he gains health plus 20, battle frenzy 8, round attack, his troops uh, maintenance is 25% less, they gain 35% faster experience points. Well, tell me what you want. Uh, I'm going to give him 10 more experience points, uh, 10 more levels of worth of experience points. He'll level all the way to the max level. He'll have this unlocked. It gives us four tier four slots. That's things for like dragons, cyclops, um, some powerful tier three slots for powerful spellcasters or what have you. Let me know. Let me know what you want, and we'll get it added. Now, if we if we do take dragons though, so by the thing, mm, let, let's back up a bit. It we should pick an army though where. The alignments are the same, or things will suffer. Dragons, I think, are evil, for example. I don't think they're neutral units. So if you want stuff like dragons or ghosts in his army, a ghost themselves actually will be a miserable choice for him because of the enemy we're fighting as a mage. So we don't want to have to worry about the enemy using spells to kill them. So we would want something like something immune to magic. Like a, a dragon would work, or a hydra, to a super powerful unit. We, we could stick that in our army. There's tons of stuff we haven't even seen before, like a Beholder, or God knows what else. So, if you want, I'll try to make up some an army of things we haven't seen before, or I'll make a balanced, like, super elf army, or who knows what. So just uh, just let me know in the comments, and we'll make it, we'll get it constructed. And this is also going to be it. After we cheat to beat Oinor in this fight, we'll, we'll go into Steamroll Oinor, and then that will do it for the playlist after all. So, uh, yep, that'll do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.